actually sat back and took this picture and allowed you to sit on their counter. You want people to sock me. You told somebody to put their hands on me, but you're not going to sock the people who let you come on the internet and post these type of pictures. Because me as a real friend, me as a real homie, me as somebody that cares for you, I would have told you, you look like shit. You should be sent to hell for even thinking that this, that this fit, that this outfit that you got on was picture worthy. And a three day old beater, a fake chain and a fake Balenciaga hat with slides that you pulled out of your grandmom's closet is fucking absurd. And you want to ask people to sock me? Why not sock them? Why not smack whoever you're cool with, whoever you're friends with? You know, because they allowed you to take this picture. Someone out here says that they love you. Somebody told you that they love you. Someone took this picture of you and looked at your butters, looked at your Tims, and said, fuck it. I'm not going to tell my friend that his, that his shoes look like he got them from the fucking Salvation Army. I'm not going to tell him that they're ashy. You know what I'm saying? That you're outside with a jacket with no beater on or t-shirt. And it looks funny. And it looks weird. But no. Let me sit up here and take this man pictures just because you asked me to. And not be real with you as a brother. And not be real with you as a friend. I think that's the most ignorant thing that possibly could be done. What about the dignity? What about the honor? Do we not have respect for one another as, as fucking, um, you know, associates, as friends, as co-partners? It's disrespectful. You're biting a condom in your fucking mouth, and I, and I hate that for your whole existence. And for you to ask somebody, hey, I want you to sock King Maul. I want you to put your hands on King Maul. It gets no more disrespectful. It's ignorant. It's ignorant, and we all think it's buffoonery. Because on no day of the week, nobody you know, nobody you're cool with, nobody in your family, in the past tense, or in the present, or the future, whatever, beat my ass. Are you fucking crazy? You're, ineligi you're ineligible for the criteria to even dance with me. It's fucking sick. It's sick and I'll, and I'll never and I'll never get over it. And I'm not going to spend too much time, you know, giving you too much life on anything. Because I said, if nothing doesn't tell me about myself, I knew exactly where our problem came in at. Where, where, we, where, where, where your problem on the internet stemmed with me at. And I really had to do some hard digging. I had to put on my cap. I mean, can everybody turn their pages to 64? Because what I did was, I said, hmm, what is it? Let me look at these pictures and let me use my, um, my, 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 observ my observations. And it, 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 it told me that, you see me on TV with some real Louis shit on. Page 64, I searched up the fucking, the numbers on that hat, and Louis don't make that. I don't know, and I'm not sure where you picked that up, what, what stand you picked that up on, or where you thought that that LV hat was real, but they tricked you, and you posted it. Because I'm sure that you knew, you see the, the, the color duration, you see what's going on with the hat. And I, and I really had to put the pieces together and say, okay, the problem that's coming into play with me and these people, you're looking at my labels. You're looking at my labels. You're trying to compare and you're co tr contrasting your shit to mine's. And when I'm adding it up on a bar graph, change the page 56. It's clear as day. That shit is fake. Who don't know that? <laughs> you couldn't fool me. I don't know if you honestly thought you was tricking us. You know, maybe because you did that little corduroy jean jacket with a black shirt with a single cheap 
Um, I don't even know what type of fucking chain that is, but it's out of the candy shop. So, you know, it's delusional. It's stupid for you to have people out here fight. I can't believe people are fighting over you. What are you bringing to the table? What do you bring to the table in your relationships? What do you bring to the table in any situation that you're in? Fake clothes? So I see where it makes sense that where, what your problem with me is and where it's coming from because my shit is real. My shit comes with tags, receipts, looks good. I paid a nice coin for it. And I understand why that will cause issues in between me and you. And I will no longer be speaking on you. I don't care. I actually think you should be sentenced to hell. Because you post pictures like those. You should be killed immediately. And I hate that for your life existence. I think it's a disrespect to all of the people that like to put their pieces together and, and, and love their, their labels. You're a disrespect to whatever community, whatever neighborhood, whatever city you're from. You're a disrespect to them all. And to think that a thousand people went and liked that fucking picture is absurd. It's real fucking tricky. You know, but whatever, to each his own, fucking hooligans, they're going to do what they do. Um, like I said, I'm not one to bolster anything and not, and, and I'm not disrespectful. I'm not trying to put people down because sometimes there is less fortunate. And I understand, and I'm starting to understand that as, as the more and more I do this, this TV shit, the people that, that don't feel me, the people that don't like me, when I go to their pages, when I go to their accounts, when I go to see who are these people that say they don't like King Maul, they're homeless. And I understand why. I get it. I see why you don't like me because you can't relate. You can't understand why I pop my shit the way I do. You can't understand why I would come in a room and say, nobody can't put their fucking hands on me. You people took that as, oh, he's scared. He don't want to fight anybody. I said, nobody's not to put their fucking hands on me because you don't want to see me riled up. You don't want to see me put my hands back on one of you. So not to stem back to this person that I just showed you, to think that you would tell your homeboy, hey, I want you to walk up and, and, and knock Jamal right off of the stage. It's senseless, distasteful. You're going to see your favorite homeboy get beat the fuck up if he ever think on any day of the week to put his fucking hands on me. And you know what you're going to be doing? You're going to be sitting back watching, asking yourself, damn, what did I do with to put my friend in, into that type of situation and made King Maul go up top on him and send that shit down the pipe on him? Because this is all you're going to see. Kanoogie. Kanugi, left, right, overhooks, overhooks, uppercuts, jabs. And the shit's going to be coming so quick and it's going to be hitting him over top of his fucking head. All you're going to be thinking is, I got him into that situation. I put him into that predicament. So choose your fights a little wisely because this one over here is not easy. <laughs> I don't know what you think you heard. I don't know what you think you saw, but you better go do a little bit more digging. <laughs> uh, moving right along to things that matter. I don't pay attention to those who are beneath me. I don't dwell on those who couldn't hold a candle to, to, to me. You get what I'm saying? And I'm one of those people where y'all got to understand. God said, don't blow us out his candle so yours can shine brighter. Don't do that. Don't rain on my parade. So, I see comments saying, what sign are you, Ma? I'm a Libra. I'm a Libra. Um, you know, I'm very intellectual. I'm very smart. Um, nothing about me is slow. I sit back and I observe every situation. And I, and I try to understand people for who they are. I don't like to talk about people because, you know, we all go through hard times and trials and tribulations and and, and, and things that, that, that leaves us beneath, but you will not play with me. You will respect me. I don't give a fuck what seat you sitting in. You will respect me and you will respect my hand because I am KM. And what King Ma says, it goes. 
whether you like it, whether you don't, I don't give a fuck, right? So let's go on right down the road, and this is not to keep dwelling on TV shit. All right, for all of those that know, I was in a boxing match not too long ago, right? I was in a boxing match a couple days ago, and me and the dude that I fought, we had no personal issues. We had no real beef. We both did it for the money. We both did it for the love of the sport because I love to fight. You get what I'm saying? We did it for the love of the sport. So I feel like it should be no ill will, disrespect, anything. I have good sportsmanship. As y'all seen at the end of the fight, if you watched, once they called my name and said, King Maul is victorious, thy champion. He won. And they used a word that should be highlighted by unanimous decision. King Maul. And they lift my hand up and I watched and I said, shout out to all of my peeps and all of my peeps just looking at me on TV. Keyword, unanimous, which means if you don't know what unanimous is, can we all go to page 45? Unanimous, used in a sentence. King Maul has a unanimous cock. I'm using it in a sentence for those who don't know what unanimous means. Another one. King Maul won that fight by a unanimous decision. Are we getting, are we picking up on what you, the, the meaning of unanimous? Let's spell it out. Unanimous. U-N-animous. Okay? Now let's get into it. I'm going to break you down to what that means. When they say that I won unanimous, it means I beat your fucking ass. And everybody that sat over there on that scoreboard, they thought that I whooped your ass. Simple. There's no way around it. All three guests, they put their scorecards down. The scores was page 42, docket number 3346. Says, judge one. It scored it 40 to 47. I was the 47, you was the 40. Judge two scored it. 41 to 49. I was the 49. You was the 41. Judge 3 scored it 40 to 50. I was the 50. You was the fucking 40. Which means I punched you over top of your fucking head. Long story short. I sent that shit down a pipe on you. And I did that at ease. It wasn't hard. I didn't need to do much. I didn't need to break a sweat. I, I, it wasn't too much that needed to be done. I made sure that I secured my fucking bag. Flawless victory. What's the issue? You get what I'm saying? So I think it is disrespectful. You know, and I had to tell him. He went and posted something. And I quote. Reading it word for word. Y'all don't need to read because I'm going to read it for you. He's, he posted something and said. I really felt as though I won that fight. I won that fight and I felt like I won it. And I texted him and I said, don't be delusional. He said, no cat. I was getting off. It was a good fight though. You was running from me. You faster than I thought, gang. Right? So damn all of this that he was saying in these messages because I let him know we're going to skip right down past all of this. I let him know easy. With the gloves, without the gloves, I will beat you the fuck up in anybody that you know. Easy. Let's stop sharing that. Fuck him. Right? So, I let him know. I will fuck you up. It was a reason why after that fight, you walked up to me and you asked me. Hey, Maul. Can we try MMA next? And it's a reason why I turned to you and I asked you. Keep on dreaming. My exact words to you, Freddie P. Was Keep on dreaming. Do I like a fucking MMA fighter? Do it look like on any day of the week, me and you are going to MMA fight and you're going to pick your foot up and kick me? Huh? Think about it. Do I look like an MMA fighter? Don't miss and screw street fighting with MMA. Yeah, I love it. I, I'm a great street fighter. I will pick up a trash can and smack you. Tag one of my homeboys in and have them jump me with you. Um, you know, street fighting qualities. MMA, not in this lifetime. You'll never choke me. 
You never kick your put your, pick your feet up and kick me with your bare fucking foot. Because that's an easy and quick way to get shot. So, you know, wouldn't happen. And I told him, hey, catch me in the next life. Catch me in the next life, dude. It is what it is. Take it how you want to take it. Um, so, moving right on alone. Um, God is good overall. And when you're a firm believer of him, he'll bless you. He'll bless you. You don't have to hate on the next person. You don't have to worry about. And, and, and you know what? Let me let me let me also talk about this. Turn to page one hundred and twenty-four because this is a topic that I want to touch because I feel like it's very important to a lot of you. Page one hundred and twenty-four. Right. So let's get into. The comments that we keep on seeing is reoccurring. The questions and the questions that keep on popping up. The questions, the questions, the questions that ask, hey, what's your sexual preference? What do you like? Is you gay? Are you straight? Are you bi? What are you? You know, and I can't help but to just think in my head. Did y'all ever take this time out to figure out why did your mom fuck who she fucked? Right? So let's really break it down to you, right? While you're sitting back, your dad, your dad is not in your life, right? Did you ever stop to ask your mom, why did she fuck that nigga who didn't want to be a good dad? Who didn't want to be in my life? What type of pussy did my mom have to make a nigga not want to take care of his semen? His own species. What type of cat did my mom have that made my dad not want to come back for a round two? Is those questions ever asked? But let's talk about how the semen, the species, it grew up to turn 24, 26, 19, 30, 22. Worrying about what King Maul sticks his dick in. Worry about who King Maul fucks. But you never thought to ask your mom. You never thought to ask your mom while she was a whore. You never thought to, 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 to send a strand of your hair, to send a swab of your mouth to Ancestry.com and worry about whether your ancestors was rapists, whether you come from Caucasians, whether you come from a plantation of nigger tree. You don't know. But yet, you come under my love and you question me. Page 124. Mind the business that pays you. Because what King Maul does doesn't create help further or have anything to do with your life. When these cameras cuts off, when this live shuts down, you still have to go to your fucking life. That is nothing. <laughs> you are nothing but an imbecile. A fucking hooligan. They will never amount to all of the things that I have accomplished. They will never be able to sit with me on no day of the week. All of the accolades that I have. My, my whole life of 20, 20 some years of living. You will never be able to walk the shoes that I walk. You will never be able to amount to who I am. <laughs> so keep on worrying about what I do. All you need to know is. My dick is long and it'll wrap around your neck. That's all you need to worry about. And I'm paid. Healthy. On my way to be wealthy. <laughs> bored every day. What about me and my nigga? You be bored every day. Every day? I'm confused. The DL? The DL going live about me every day. Going live about me every day. Let me wake it up. Ma, stop fucking talking about me like I said, bitch. Holla in and tell Ant to bend it over and bust it open for you, bitch. The fuck is you talking about, you bored ass, dirty ass fat, bitch? The fuck? Hold on, let me go to these screenshots to my phone. Let me go to me and Ant DM, bitch. So where he said he forever got his boy, Ma, and I said you forever got yo nigga, bitch. The fuck? Hold on, give me one second. 
Sick of these bitches, bitch. Give me one second. What's in Instagram? Hold on. I don't give a fuck. He keep talking about my nigga. I don't care. Yo, man. Yo, man. He posted about Ma and I said, yo, man. He sent laugh emojis, bitch. We already know that y'all fucking. You already told me. So the fact that you sitting here, you trying to steady go live and put my nigga name in your mouth, knowing that you over here gay as fuck, DL, bitch, talking about how you fucking on Zoe, how you fucking on Rashad and all that. I'm confused. You think Zoe and Rashad going to motherfucking save you, bitch? You think Zoe and Rashad is going to save you? That's why these bitches feel untouched because of Zoe and Rashad, bitch. They're not going to save you, bitch. I don't give a fuck about none of that. The fuck? Y'all bitches are weird as fuck. Gay ass fag, bitch. Come out the closet before you come for me, bitch. That's what you can do. Come out that closet, baby. And, and motherfucking mall. Come out that closet. They fucking. They together. The fuck? Stop fucking playing with me. Weird ass bitch. And then the fact I'm thinking we cool enough. We cool. Me, Ma, and Aunt Cool. So the fact that you steady running your dick eaters knowing that I got tea on you, bitch, and you thought I wasn't going to wake it up is delusional, bitch. Let me go find these group chats. Fuck is you talking about, bitch? Y'all some fucking fags. And I'm sick of faggot ass niggas playing with me, bitch. Come out the closet. That's what I want you to do. Come out the closet first, Maul and Ant. The fuck? Gay ass niggas. I'm so mad I deleted all my screenshots, bro. I'm so mad I deleted all my screenshots. Dick eater. Hold on, let me go see if I got what he said about him the other day. I deleted it, y'all. I deleted it. Motherfuckers is gay as fuck. Always speaking about me. Like, stop being a fag and stop speaking about me and my nigga. That's all I'm saying. Y'all being gay as fuck. Y'all being gay. You can go to delete. I think I deleted my recent deleted. I don't be having storage. I deleted it. Uh, accept it. Are you bored? This morning? Let, let's all before one thing. Let's all get into and say. Are you bored? Are you before bored? we say anything? Before are you speak, bored? Are you bored? Answer before we say anything, are you bored? let me introduce you. Let me introduce you correctly. This is Kendall. Are you bored? This is Kendall. For this dude. You keep this speaking to speaking us. On my nigga. Excuse, you keep speaking on me, my nigga. You keep speaking on my nigga. What if I speak on Ant? You would you like that? If I dog Ant out, Ant is a, Ant is a grown ass man. He can do, Ant would just have to beat you up on his own time. The same way I can beat you up and beat your nigga up on his own time. What, Yo, this is what we're going to, this is what we're going to speak we, on. We're about to be in Philly. You. We're about to be in Philly, okay? We're about to be in Philly. Real soon. You don't even believe that, Kendall. I told you I've been to Philly plenty of times. And you're going to come to Philly and do exactly what with me? We're going to be in Philly. You When I get there, I'm, when I get there, I'm going to go How soon? I'm going to go get me some food from Country Cooking. Okay. I'm going to cook your phone. Country Cooking is not open anymore, so that's a lie. Why is it not open no more? Where is Country Cooking located, located at? Mr. I'm, I'm going to call food. your phone. I'm you're gonna not going to call your phone. First of all, let me tell I'm you gonna, something. I'm going to call you're your phone. You're trying to send me on something I'm going to about call. my city that Wait, you can't do. Not? Try again. Country Cooking is not, not a place that you can pull up to. That's inside of yeah. Fresh Grocery. Yes, so it is. Saying? Like, what? It's inside a grocery store. It's inside of Fresh I it's inside so a that. grocery store, so like I said, I'm gonna go get me okay. some country cooking out okay. the grocery store where it's hot and fresh. Still, what do you mean? So what's okay. your point of saying it's not open? And then, and then after that, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna call. And, I mean, I'm gonna call Ma. Say, hey, Ma, you want to fade? Where are you? Where you at? You're 
gonna drop the location. We're gonna meet up, and you're gonna get beat up. You promise me? I promise. Pinky, put your pinky out. <laughs> so, please. Are you Please. bored? Are you bored this morning? Like you want some entertainment? I said is nothing it the cloud? about you. Is it the cloud? Like what's Say nothing on? about you. I got that. Are how you crazy? I how got, do you that. got cloud. How do you got cloud? How don't I not? From Playboys? Are, are you? Do you not know who I am? Did Playboys put you on? Ask the question. Little, way before hey, Playboys, hey, hey, I hey, hey, hey! Listen, did who Playboys you? put you on? Did Playboys? You? you know who I am. You know who I am. Your family know who I, I am. I have no idea who you are. You know who I am. Your family know who I am. Come on, Kendall. You, 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 you told me that yourself. Plenty times. Kendall. Kendall, can I tell you something? You told me that yourself. Kendall, can I tell Plenty you something? Plenty times. What's the conversation about? Kendall, can I tell what you something? What do we have to talk about? Can, can I, I, I came up here. I boosted your live up. Can you I, wasn't talking about nothing on this live. I want you to also get into the comments. You wasn't talking about shit on this live. I'm telling you how long I've had Clark and who I am. Listen, but let me tell you something. Also, I don't want to talk about that. Do you, uh, you do you honestly say. believe in your head that you can fuck with me with the? That's not what. Yay, hi, Ma. You cannot fight. Next. You know I seen you fight, right? That's why I seen you fight, Papa. Too. So you know, are you delusional? <laughs> Listen, let me let me let me offer you a good let me offer you a good um <laughs> peace treaty. No, I rebuttal. want you and your boyfriend mm -hmm. literally. I want to fight both of y'all to try to fight me at the same. I will beat you and your boyfriend the fuck up at the same time. We gonna see. It's that easy of a fight. We gonna see. You cannot beat my thirteen we're, year old we're, nephew. We're we're going to see. You can't beat my thirteen we're year old nephew. See. We gonna see. Funded beat you up backwards. Funded didn't beat me up. Are you crazy? What type of what type of life are you living? Of delusion? Are you living in? I think you might have want to put your goggles on and read hey, a little bit hey, closer into them compliments. Hey mom. Into them comments is what you hey, need mom. to do. Hey mom. Talk to are me. Are you bored today? I'm not bored. I didn't say anything about you. Ma, are you bored today? Did I say something about I think you? You're bored. Did I speak on you or did I speak on somebody that told you, you to sock you, me? You spoke on my nigga. And you spoke on my nigga first. And I'm not gonna keep going back and forth. You that know. got nothing to do with you. Let him go up here and speak for himself. I said he was a crackhead. So what? I I have an eye for crackheads. I can say what I want to say. Have you, you ever did me? crack? He's a crackhead. Have you he ever did over did crack? So let me ask you a question. How do you feel about fighting over people that fighting over a nigga that wears fake designer? Have you ever done crack? Why do you fight over a nigga have that wears fake designer? You ever done crack? Are you gonna fight over Ant? Is Ant not a grown ass man? He's still your nigga. Yeah, you're delusional. We're going to get you up out of here. Now you want to get me off. We're going to get you up out of here. <laughs> We're going to get you up out of here real easy. Real easy and real smooth. Just that simple. When they have nothing better else to say, because it's like, I will come up here and speak all facts. I will come up here and speak all facts. Am I lying that this Louis V hat, that this LB hat is as fake as light? As, as fake as it could be, I search up the serial numbers. When did Louis Vuitton drop this hat? It's like, if I'm coming up here speaking on facts, hit me back with facts. That's all. I'm not, I'm not gonna bring any ill will to anybody. I'm speaking on facts. This hat, Louis never dropped that. You know, and, and they have so many, um, Me, all y'all pussy ass bitch ass niggas got my number, and now it's to the point where I'm gonna beat up your boyfriend. So tread lightly and keep my name out your mouth and stop sucking my dick, you fucking weird ass faggots. After that, there's nothing else to talk about. You can drop me. No, I'll remove myself so I don't fuck up your life. All right.